Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch and today we are looking at the open source 2D map editor called Tiled. Now this one I've covered in the past on the channel. I'm not going to go into a ton of details about how to use it because I already have a multi-part tutorial series on doing that. I will have that linked in the article down below. But the reason why we are talking about Tiled today is because Tiled 1.5 was just released. So we're mostly going to look at what is new in that particular release. Now if you've never heard of Tiled before, as I mentioned, open source map editor, you can grab it at map editor.org. What you will find about Tiled is it can be used to create 2D maps, multiple sprite layers or tile layers. Uh, you can have 2D, orthographic, isometric, or hexagraphic maps created. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's go hands on. Then we'll come back to some of the details of the 1.5 release. Uh, so here we are in Tiled. This is just a quick thrown together level to demonstrate the kind of maps that you can go ahead and create with Tiled. This is a number of different tile maps made out of a number of different tile layers. You see the maps themselves are uh, sorry, the tile sets themselves are a number of different sets. You got here, we composed them into multiple different layers. And this doesn't actually showcase much of the new functionality, but it did make for making a good screenshot. But one of the only new things I'm going to showcase right here is there is this new feature in for parallax factor. What we can do is now set the parallax. You see that one layer kind of moved and was askew to all the other layers. Well, in this particular case, that didn't make a whole lot of sense. But a lot of times you would use parallax if you have things that scale and rotate or sorry, not rotate, but and move at a different pace. So the reason why you would commonly do this is something called parallax layers, where you have something like a cloud effect in the background. You make it smaller so that it looks like it's further away, as an example. Well, now you can actually visualize the parallax factor directly in the tiled editor. So that is definitely one of the changes with this release. But by far and away, the biggest change now is in uh, tile sets, the auto tiling functionality. And here you can see the classic desert uh, map. And what we can do here is we can go up here into terrain brush mode and you can see I have a train set defined. This is using an edge set. So you see here, I have a number of different edges defined. So I've got desert, so I can draw desert. And I, if I draw desert into another area, it overwrites it. I can sit here, I say, okay, I wanna draw brick instead. So what you're doing is basically setting up rules to tell it uh, how to deal with certain neighbors when you run into them. So if a desert comes into a brick, it overwrites it and you get the right boundaries. It also knows that desert can have cacti in it. And once these are set up, they can really save you some time uh, on creating your map. So if you have like a watery shore, you could have water tiles and then show how those tiles should interact. Here we can, for example, have dirt paths that we can run through things. You set up your tile just so then when I start filling it in, you see it fills itself with dirt. These are set up with a couple of different ways. Uh, there's technologies, there's edge, there's corner. Uh, so there's edge sets, corner sets, and wang tiles. And that one, I'm not even gonna try and explain what a wang tile is here, but we'll briefly get into a detail on that. But here you can see a tile map as it's set up. The tile map for that particular map is right here. The tile sets are separate to maps in the world of tiled. So here you can see the setup based off of corners. So this tile set right here is a corner type and we could go ahead and create a new one. So we've got corner, edge, and then mixed. And then you've also got wang tile sets so that you can have a variety of different patterns that work together to create these particular corners. But the thing is, each one of these used to have a different set of editing tools. What they have done in Tiled 1.5 is moved all of the various different terrain tools together. So when you go back here, you paint with a terrain like it was all just one thing. So it's standardized. Instead of having a duplicate set of tools for everything, you now have one set of tools to rule them all. And that makes a whole lot more sense. All right, so back to the tile details. Once again, you can go to mapeditor.org. Uh, but now we're going to focus on what is new in the 1.5 release. Of course, I will link to the release notes as well with the linked article down below. But the big thing here is you can now paint with edged and blobbed and wang tiles all together. There's also unified tools for flipping or rotating tiles in the set. So you kind of treat all of those things as one set of tools now, which makes a whole lot of sense. Uh, parallax scrolling factor. Oh, by the way, before I scroll on, there is this link here to blob tile sets explanation. It also links to wang tiles. We'll see that in just a second. Uh, the parallax scrolling factor, like I said, a lot of times you'd use parallax for here. You've got this is the foreground, but then you have a sky layer in the background. And often you have like multiple. So this might be a foreground background, if that makes any sense. And this one, again, might be a slightly different set. And they all could be having a different scale factor and a different speed factor. Well, now you can use that parallel 
uh, the parallax setting in the editor to actually see these things so you don't have to export it out your game to see how it will look. Uh, we have a new uh, file format supported so you can now export maps out to GameMaker 2.0. Point three. Another tool you can now export maps to is RP Tool Map Tool, although only for tile layers using image collections. Uh, we've got some customization options, so object select behavior, uh, to have it select from any layer or the highlighted layer when you're selecting things. Middlemost button uses auto scrolling on or off and use smooth scrolling on or off. We've also got some improvements to scripting. Right now you can script uh, tile to do a whole lot more using the JavaScript programming language. So if you were using this as your bonafide level creation tool, there's a good chance that you may want to, you know, extend it or expand upon what you can do. So there is a JavaScript scripting extension there. Uh, they added the ability to load, save, modify images, as well as to launch external processes. That one actually could be pretty big, especially if you've got um, external executables you do to run on data or to crunch things or to compile to your custom format or whatever. So the scripting language now allows you to spawn out to external processes. And then we got a number of uh, smaller fixes in there. If you really want to get into the details of those. Of course, this will be linked down below. And then to go back, Wang Tiles, I don't want to try and explain what Wang Tiles are, but it's basically an algorithm uh, created by uh, Heo Wang uh, back in 1961. It basically, it, it's a way of defining edges and corners that you could use it to create logical maps and so on. And then if you're interested in blob tiles, it's basically a subset of from Wang Tiles. Um, so if you want to read more about it, uh, this article is actually linked here in the release notes. So this uh, you can get there from uh, this description right there. So if you want to figure out what a Wang Tile is all about and what a Blob Tile is and you want to see the math behind it, uh, that is what this kind of explains to you. So if you want to get into more depth there, you can. As I mentioned earlier on, there is extensions to the scripting. The scripting is all documented. It does use JavaScript. Uh, so there is basically some examples here how to do stuff. So there's the new stuff. Again, you can spawn out to an external uh, process, which is definitely going to extend the usability of the scripting languages there. Uh, on top of that, there is new documentation on how the trains work. Train, trust me, it's going to be a little bit to get your brain around it. Um, you're going to find you're going to set up your corners and it's not going to work right. You're going to be like, what the hell? Or you might have it corners or edge, which by the way, if you have corners and edges, there's also the option when creating a train like so. So let's create a, here. Let's create a new train. So when you create a new train, you can also create a mixed set, which uses edges and corners. Again, this example uses corners where you're defining the boundaries of things by defining its quarters. This one, you're defining the boundaries between tiles by setting their edges, or of course, mix set, you're using both. But this documentation will walk you through the process of setting up these trains. I think my tutorial series also went through this process, uh, but now you're basically treating them a more unified. With the 1.5, it's, it's all one thing, which is definitely a nice new feature. And then finally, as I mentioned earlier on, Tiled is an open source project. It is under the GPL v3 license, I believe. Let me just make sure of that. Oh, yeah, GPL license. Um, so you can't really, if you can, if you modify the source code for it, you basically have to contribute your changes back up. You can't change the license away from that. Uh, but that it's only going to be if you're branching or trying to make a proprietary that the license is going to make a huge difference. It's basically the same license that the Blender game engine, oh, sorry, the Blender um, application in general is released under as well. So uh, open source project, as you can see by the update log, ooh, there's even earlier, four hours ago, um, the, the maintainer Bjorn, he's done a very active job of keeping uh, tiled under development for years and years and years now. Uh, as you can see here, this, this one was committed eight years ago. So uh, definitely an interesting project, one of the most powerful independent of game engine map editors out there. And if you are working with a framework or a lot of game engines even support tiled import format, tiled is definitely worth checking out. And the tiled 1.5 release is definitely an improvement. The unified train tools, the extended uh, scripting and so on and so forth. That is what we can look forward to in this particular release. Available now, uh, Windows, Mac and Linux, and of course, open source if you wanna grab it. So that's it, let me know what you think. Comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.